What's up YouTube? My name is Phil Wakeman. I am a professional musician. I play guitar, I sing, I play bass. That's more or less it. Um, but due to recent world events, I've had to take about a year off work. And it's been great. It's been a journey of self-discovery, by which I mean I've done very little. I've discovered that I'm capable of doing very little if I allow myself to. I've barely played guitar, I've barely sang, I ate a lot of bread and a lot of fat, and uh, yeah, I had a fantastic time. Anyway, this week I found out that I'd be able to go back to work again soon, so excited about that, but I've also discovered that I've forgotten how to play guitar and how to sing, so that's not so great. So um, I need to learn how to play guitar again, and I need to learn how to sing again, and I need to learn all of the old songs that I used to know. So, uh, yeah, why don't you join me on this journey as I uh, relearn all of the things that I forgot and maybe learn a few new things along the way as well. Um, so, yeah, um, last few gigs I did, the end of last year, I uh, had the foresight to record the... Uh, I recorded the gigs multi-track through my uh, mixing desk and uh, with a video camera as well. And uh, I've been editing those over the last few uh, weeks. Um, and um, a thing I've learned there is I have no idea how to do any of that stuff. I don't know how to edit videos. I don't know how to make videos. I don't know how to do this thing that I'm doing right now. I don't know anything about anything. So you're gonna see me struggling and learning as I go. Um, but what am I trying to say? Yes, so watching the live videos and listening to the live recordings of my band um, was very useful because it showed me uh, all of the mistakes that I was making when I thought I knew what I was doing and uh, I have an opportunity now to rectify a lot of those mistakes and try and become a better performer and I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about, uh, about those um, in future videos moving forward. Um, yeah. I guess I just want to be as honest as possible with you and show you all of the work that goes into playing music professionally. Um, I suppose um, it's worth mentioning that I have absolutely no formal musical education. Um, I can't read music. My uh, my technique is, uh, is awful uh, at the best of times. Um, but I've uh, found a way around that. I've mastered the art of what I call lazy guitar, which is I found a few things that work really well for me, and then I've extracted as much mileage out of those things as possible. So I'd like to show you some of those as well um, in future videos, some of the, uh, the lazy guitar tricks that I've picked up over the years. Um, so what else? Oh yeah, so I need, to, um, I need to get in shape as well. That's important, so I can tell you a little bit about that. I put on loads of weight over lockdown, as I say, from eating all the bread and fat and stuff. And it's been great, you know, I've had a fantastic time, but I need to pay for that now. I need to starve myself and lose probably 50 pounds. I don't know. I hide it well, but, you know. <laughs> anyway, I can tell you a little bit about how I go about doing, uh, doing that as well. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, uh, I forgot how to shave as well. That happens. I forgot how to get a haircut. <laughs> I forgot how to buy clothes. <laughs> I need to buy a van as well to get to to get my band to uh, to the gigs. Anyway, look. The thing is, I don't know how to do a vlog, as is becoming increasingly apparent as the video goes on. I'm already rambling. I don't know how any of this works. So. Uh, yeah, it should be a it should be a fun experience learning how to do this, and I hope that you'll have fun watching me struggle. <laughs> so what's that? That's about five minutes. Nah. I was going to say that that would do for today, but how about I set up what I'm thinking of in uh, future videos? So the next couple of videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, a video of a recent gig that I've done and uh, watch how I have played and performed the various songs that I have uh, been playing, performing with my band. 
and um, seeing how I could uh, improve them. First of all, seeing if I could still play them, which I, you know, maybe can't. Um, then learning how to play them, seeing if I can improve them, and then also working on the um, the sounds that I'm going to be using for these songs. Um, I use a, uh, a rack mount uh, Helix, uh, Line 6 Helix effects unit for guitar. Um, I'm not especially like a Line 6 aficionado in particular, it's just that I started using Line 6 when I turned pro and they never let me down, so I've stuck with them. Um, the Helix is great, got no complaints there. The, um, the format of the band, we've got uh, myself on guitar, we have a singer, we've got a bassist and we have a drummer, and that's it. And uh, we play all sorts of covers from all sorts of bands in all sorts of styles. Um, so there's a lot of pressure on me to have an interesting palette of sounds available to cover a wide variety of styles of music and to give us a big, full kind of sound. So I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about what sounds I'm going to use on my Helix and how I'm going to set the thing up to, uh, you know, to give a nice full band uh, sound, despite the fact that I'm sort of the only melodic instrument in the band. Uh, we may incorporate keyboards moving forward at some point. I don't know. We haven't really decided that yet. If we do, I'll uh, I'll tell you about it here. And uh, yeah, that should be uh, that should be fun. Um, if we were to incorporate keyboards, I'd have, actually have no idea how to do that. I have a uh, MIDI uh, keyboard, but I've got uh, no portable means of producing uh, MIDI sounds, and frankly, I don't feel like spending god knows how many hundreds of pounds on a decent stage keyboard for an experiment. I'm going to try and work with the uh, tools that I already have, because that's what I've always done. Um, I'm not especially into gear, as it happens, you know? like um. The gear that I have is, generally speaking, the cheapest gear that does the job to a standard that I'm happy with. Um, I probably could have bought cheaper gear, uh, like, you know, the Helix is basically the most expensive uh, piece of gear that I use. I probably could have used something cheaper that does the job about as well, but I figured, you know, that bit of gear is the bit that I'll spend the money on. The guitars and everything else, is, uh, they're, all, they're all cheap. But they've all, they're all set up nicely and they work well, and that's really what matters, you know. You don't have to buy an expensive guitar to get a good sound, it's not about that. You, you just get a guitar and you get it set up nicely and you put new strings on it and then you play the best that you can. And the, that's how you get a good sound, in, in my opinion, you know. Yeah, I should point out, these videos are going to contain a lot of opinions, and if you don't like my opinions, that's fine. You're entitled to your own opinion, I'm not going to try and change your mind. but. I am going to try and make a point of flagging up when I have something that's an opinion and that's not necessarily a fact. And it is my opinion that you don't need expensive gear to sound good. I think a lot of other people share that opinion. Maybe you don't, and that's fine. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, so I suppose that'll do for now. I'll get this one uploaded. Uh, next up, I think I'm going to look at how I play one of my band's songs, and if I can figure out how all the routing works, I'll, uh, I'll record that, and, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll see that tomorrow. I haven't worked out how to end this, because I didn't plan ahead, because I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, hmm, how about this? Remember, cats always land on their feet. I'll see you next time.